Welcome to Jay's Two Cents exclusive insider coverage of CES 2014. Our trip this year is brought to you by Aqua Tuning, your global source for PC modding and cooling components, and by Sennheiser, the pursuit of perfect sound, and of course, by generous viewers like you. So strap in with Jay's Two Cents as he takes you on a wild ride through CES 2014. Okay, guys, Jay's Two Cents continuing our coverage here of CES 2014 in Las Vegas, Nevada. And I am still here with Mark Tran here of MSI. And we're going to look at something that you guys have been asking me about for a long time. And I really didn't have any answers for you when it came to small form factor AMD builds. So now we're going to be taking a look here at a line of motherboards that's coming out this year for the AMD enthusiast for micro ATX and mini ITX motherboard builds. So the gaming line, as you guys know with MSI, has been pretty much exclusive to Intel until CES because now they've unveiled some uh, MSI gaming products for the AMD enthusiasts. So what we've got over here, and I'll get, I'll get Mark to tell us a little more about it, is a micro ATX build here featuring the Kavari chipset, which was unveiled, when was that unveiled? Just recently. Um, actually, it um, hasn't been really unveiled yet, but they should announce it on the 7th of, of January. And uh, they said that it should be releasing on the 14th. Yeah. So you guys have you guys have heard the rumors about the future of FX chipset, and you know AMD has a really strong APU, and it's really good for builders on a budget. So MSI has gone out and included the gaming line of motherboards into the AMD Kavari chipset, so that now you can get the features that you expect out of a gaming motherboard while moving forward with the evolution of AMD. And that's what we're looking at right here. So go, Mark, go ahead and tell us a little bit more about what we're looking at. Okay, so this is our first ever uh, gaming uh, motherboard for the AMD. Um, I know like a lot of MSI fan was asking, uh, so when are you guys coming out with the gaming series for AMD? Right. So at CES, we're announcing that this is, you know, we're coming out first, of course, will be the micro um, ATX board. And, and that seems to be the most commonly asked for solution. I, I get asked all the time for micro ATX solutions for AMD, and, and they're really, there's like one or two on the market now, and they're not great solutions. Actually, there, um, yeah, there is one or two in the market, but the thing, the good, uh, unique thing about this is that this is, um, there's no other people in the market that still retain like all the features, like let's say like the killer Nick card, audio booths, and you know, and uh, military components um, on it. So it's the same quality of the Intel brother, yes. but with the Intel, uh, AMD FM2 chipset? Yes, FM2 chipset. Right, so it's the, or the FM2 socket, socket. excuse me. Uh, maximum memory on this is 32 megabytes? Yes, 32 gigs. Okay, or, sorry, 32 <laughs> gigs. We just went back about 20 years, guys, yeah. at least. Okay, 32 gigs maximum. Yes. Uh, you mentioned the killer NIC, um, Crossfire and SLI capability? Yes. Yeah, so if you're an AMD fan, and I see here we have a uh, you know eight pin uh, CPU power on there. Um, now, what about onboard RAID capability of this? That one. I, I see we have six. Looks like we have six SATA ports on here. Yes. Um, so I'm assuming there's going to be onboard RAID support, um, which we'll know more about as the chip as the chipset launches and the board comes out and the the actual chip from AMD is available. But the bottom line, guys, it's a full function AMD motherboard introduced through the gaming line, giving you all the features that you'd expect as a gamer. Now, the last question I have is about onboard audio. What, what does it have? Onboard, onboard audio, we have audio boost. So let's say if, um, if you go to light here, you can see. Oh, yeah. So you can see the path here where they're trying to separate the signal for the audio from the main components. Yes, that's to why we have so many capacitor um, right there. Right. And they're all on this side of the, yes. of the separation. So theoretically, what that does is it separates your sound from the, the power signals on the motherboard so you get less noise, hiss, and, and interference, pops, that That's sort of correct. thing. Yeah. Okay, so if you're interested in building an AMD system but you don't need some of those features that would be on a high-end motherboard like that, uh, we do have another product here we're looking at. What, what is this in the blue? This is uh, the same thing um, as the, the micro, but it's stripped down. So it's more like budgeted if you're, you know, um, if you're more like on a budget right now. You, you don't want all the bells and whistles, you know, you just want to just plug it in and, and web surf and all like that. This will be a perfect board for that. Right, and I see it still has a, an old school PCI sp uh, slot on there. Yeah. So two PCI Express, does it do SLI or Crossfire? Um, it does Crossfire, but I'm not sure about SLI, but for sure I know it does Crossfire. Yeah, I see a 16X and an 8X. Yes. Um, 
I don't see any PCI. Oh, I went one one X right there. Uh, one thing to note on the other board is you do have a 16 and 8X of, as well, but two PCI 1X for additional sound cards or, or NIC cards or whatever you want to may, maybe add to the board. Um, now, you have a couple of really small uh, options here, which are the mini ITX. So let's go ahead and talk about this. So this one is also the Kavari chipset, which is the A88X um, <clears throat> using um, AC uh, Intel wireless. So it's an AMD board, but still, yeah, we're using a Intel wireless on in there because the reason why is uh, pretty popular with uh, a lot of the fans. Um, they still like the Intel chip. Yeah, and, yeah. and Intel makes a really good wireless setup. Yes. Um, I love the fact that you guys include wireless built onto the mini ITX boards because if you're building a system based on uh, portability, it makes no sense to be tethered down to a, a, an RJ45 or something like that. Yes. Um, the, the, the board that I'm using here on the CES build, which you guys saw the video of, is my M uh, Z87i gaming mini ITX motherboard provided by MSI. And that built-in wireless is an amazing feature that is serving me really well in the hotel room. So I'm very thankful for the built-in uh, wireless on there. Um, so guys, if you're building an AMD system, you need something small, compact, but full featured, Coming out this year, MSI has got you covered here with the gaming series. You've got your uh, mid-range uh, mini, or excuse me, micro, IT, micro ATX, so many acronyms. And then you've got your uh, mini ITX as well. Now, a question I asked you before we started rolling was, if you're going to be including a mini ITX version of the Intel gaming board for um, AMD? Pretty sure in the future or coming up soon, we might include that in. But right now, we're, we don't have any plans yet. At the moment, we have to see how the market reacts to the, our gaming board. You know, we still have the the standard ATX, which I'm about to show you on the next clip. You guys heard it. If you want it, you have to speak up, guys. They respond to the things that they want from the fans and the enthusiasts, and that's you guys. So if you guys are interested in these products, speak up. Let these companies know what you're interested in, and uh, it doesn't stop there. I mean, we're going to take a look at another motherboard now. Uh, if you're a hardcore AMD gamer and you want to jump onto the new platform, we're going to take a look at a really awesome full-size AMD motherboard, so don't go away. Okay guys, so as I promised, if you're an AMD fan and you want to build a full-size AMD board, uh, you know there's very limited options when it comes to being a gaming enthusiast when it comes to AMD. Now, what I'm looking at right here is the G45 Gaming for AMD. Now, Mark, go ahead and tell us about what we're looking at right here. So, basically, Right now, uh, you know, as we heard from 2013, a lot of fans was complaining, like, how come you guys didn't come out with the AMD uh, gaming series board, you know, with all the, with the features and everything? So, yeah, we definitely, you know, hear what you have to say. And we came uh, at CES this year. We announced that this will be the first um, gaming series for the AMD motherboard. Um, so it has, it retains all of the features, like the audio boost, military components, um, and also um, the killer NIC card. What I like about this board here is it features all the functions that you'd expect from a high-end motherboard, but with the AMD chipset. I mean, we've got our onboard controls, you've got your OC Genie button, your power, your reset. Uh, I see eight SATA ports on here, so obviously we're gonna have uh, built-in RAID. Um, I don't know why, maybe because I'm an old school builder, I love that there's a PCI slot on there. Because I still have some PCI peripherals that I don't use because there's no slots to support them. But the chipset still supports PCI, so they put it in there. You've got three PCI Express, uh, looks like you have one uh, 16X, two 8X, and you have two PCI Express 1X on there. Uh, fan, looks like we have our, our uh, onboard Q code right here so that you can uh, troubleshoot. It gives you boot uh, options on there, it tells you the status of the board. Um, but I see tons of fan control because you guys know me. I'm all about noise control and water cooling. And if you have more control over your fans, that's just, that's awesome. Uh, but it's it's a full functioning, full size gaming AMD motherboard. If you're an AMD fan, we've certainly got you covered here through MSI when it comes to options on building gaming systems. You guys have spoken up over the last couple of years saying, "Why are we the black sheep? Why don't we have any any gaming uh, motherboards for for AMD builds?" Well, there you go, guys. They've you've spoken up, they've listened, and this is going to be also available for the uh, the A88. It's the Kavari chipset that's coming out soon uh, here at CES when it comes to AMD and their brand new chipset. So, they've got you covered on day 1 once those chips are available. Thank you, Mark, for showing us this. Um, 
CES 2014 coverage brought to you by Jay's Two Cents. Follow on Twitter. We've got a ton of tweets going out. Just so much information to try and cover. And as always, I will see you guys in my next video.